Welcome to the video tutorial for the new training and event registration system for the Michigan MTSS Technical Assistance Center. We're excited to show you how to access the statewide professional learning offerings and see the great features available in the new system. You can access the new registration system by clicking on the professional learning tab at the top of any page on the website. Scroll down to the learning sessions menu and click on upcoming and current, which will take you to the main page for the professional learning events. This main page includes all of the current and upcoming event listings and also includes important information like creating a new login for the system and policies for statewide events. This view is considered the tile view. To view the events differently, such as the calendar or list format, click on the tabs at the top of the screen. Returning to the tile view, you can scroll through this page to check out all of the events available. You can also search for a specific event at the top of the page or easily filter the events by using the category drop-down list. To find out more details about a session, click on the tile. For example, I will click on the upcoming Phonics for Reading Newbies session. The event page will open in another window and include information about the event, including dates, times, details, the presenter, continuing education credits, and the location. If you're ready to register, click the Register Now button, which will take you to a login screen. You can log in with that information if you've already created a username and password for this new system. If you haven't yet created a login to this new system, you can click on Create a New Account and set one up. Since I already have a login, I will enter my credentials and get logged into the system. Once logged in, I can register next to my name. Data and information I've entered previously will automatically pre-populate. I will need to answer any registration questions specific to this event. I click Continue Registration, which takes me to the next page. From this next page, I can check out and finish registering for this event, or I can look at other events and add them to my cart before checking out. I'll be done here, so I will click the Check Out Now button. I'm all set and have registered for the session. To verify that I'm registered, I will check my account, which is in the upper right corner of this page. This brings me to my account dashboard and shows me a listing of my current registrations. You can see I'm confirmed for some sessions and have been canceled for some sessions by looking at the status column. If I want to view the event details, I can click the view button to the left. I can also edit or cancel my registration. On the left side of this screen, you'll notice a navigation bar where you can access other sections. The one section I want to show you is labeled My Emails. When I click on it, another pane on the right side lists all the emails I have received from this registration system for the various events I've been registered for. If I click View next to one of the messages, I can see a copy of the message sent to me. Sometimes email messages are blocked by an organization's firewall or internal servers, or emails are filtered automatically to the spam folder. This is a great way to access the confirmation or reminder notifications about events, especially if you haven't received them via email. Under the Continuing Education section, you can check how many continuing education credits you've earned. These credits may not be completely accurate, however, so please make sure to verify your credits via MOEX or My Registry. Thank you for joining us on this brief tutorial on our new training and event registration system. We hope you enjoy the new features. Please get in touch with us at info at .org with any questions or concerns you may have.